Okay, so Three Quarter Indian, just a, a little bit of brief about us, is that we started off in 2019 as a multi-cuisine restaurant. Um, and today, after three years of its inception, even during COVID, we are now considered as one of the best restaurants in the city. Currently, we're serving a multi-cuisine curated affair for our, for our clientele, and we're the only ones in Ahmedabad focusing more on modern Indian cuisine. So just a brief example of what Three Quarter Indian is. So we're a casual fine dining multi-cuisine restaurant with an, exp with an expertise in modern Indian. So what our unique selling point is that for the era of 2019, we were the only ones to, to blend in luxurious hospitality and luxurious food at, a, um, at an affordable casual dining space in Gujarat. So currently we have a restaurant that can seat up to 150 covers um, in, uh, with 85 on the outside, uh, which is our rooftop, and then another good 45 on the inside. So this is what our brand stands for. It stands for magical, magical experiences, unique and scrumptious food, and a positive ambience. These three key things are really important for a three-quarter Indian. Our driving philosophy is one that is of, um, of every restaurant, which is we look forward for, cele for celebrations, constant innovation and execution, quality service with hospitality and engaging atmosphere. And that's what gives us our clientele and that's what brings our clientele back to our restaurant. So apart from Three Quarter Indian, we have the other sides of Three Quarter Indian, which are also very interesting. We have a cloud kitchen known as Tarka Club, which is operated from the restaurant. And we have our service called Chef on Call by Three Quarter Indian, where one of our experienced chefs goes to the client's house, cooks for them, and then gives them a restaurant quality uh, dinner or lunch at home. So this is the team. Mr. Kapil Singh is actually the founder of the company. Um, unfortunately, he's running a bit late and he will not be joining this presentation currently, but he will be joining in a bit later on. Mr. Kapil Singh has 22 years worth of experience in the restaurant industry. And he is bringing all of that experience down to Three Quarter Indian as one of his flagship restaurants. A little bit about myself. Well, I just finished my uh, bachelor's degree, degree in hospitality and culinary arts from La Roche, Switzerland. I've been working as a chef for the past seven years, and I have worked with uh, a lot of Michelin level restaurants. And that's since I am a Gujarati, the city has called me back. And now I look after all the operations of the three quarter Indian restaurant and brand. So why us? Why would anyone want to invest in three quarter Indian? There are three things we keep in mind whenever it comes to our experiences with our guests and what we want to deliver as a product is that passion, commitment and results. So we serve every single customer with drive and passion, and it always reflects upon the guest experience. And then we have returning guests to our restaurants. We are committed to give out the best. From the investor point of view, we are also committed to give our investors the best results possible in terms of what they've invested and how we can move forward with the restaurant. Now, the quick thing that makes us really successful and stand out is that we have achieved our ROI in 36 months, even during the pandemic, because we were able to adapt so well to the market conditions that even though with a heavy investment, we were able to see our return in 36 months. To this date, we're also nominated for the Times of India Food Awards for the best modern Indian cuisine in Ahmedabad. So here's the core concept and the requirements that we have from our investors, which is the 6,000 square foot area for the restaurant, which includes the kitchen and the service, utilities and everything. The average investment in between 1.5 to 3 CR, and in, from the investor's perspective, we also have non-alcoholic models and vegetarian models available at lower investment. What makes us really different is that we're not looking for a, a mass sort of franchising um, model. We're only looking at one outlet per city. And I think that's what makes it a little bit more on the niche -er side. So these are our franchise projections. We are looking at a franchise-owned, franchise-operated model. So for the numbers, we're expecting a 4.6 CR in, one, in year one, then 5.3 the next, 
six the next, 6.6 .6 year four, and 7.1 year five. This is with a investment of 2.57 CR, which is the alcoholic model. And that is the model that we wanna upsell the most because that is where our investors can see a lot of returns. Now, total costs for the years are as follows on the second row. And you can have a look at the cumulative ROI at the very bottom as to when you'll be able to receive the 100%, which is going to be somewhere between 10, 27 to 30 months. So our services to the franchisees. So even though we're a franchise owned franchise operated, we're going to be 100% committed to give the same standard uh, to the investors. So we will have staff training programs, location based menus, which is going to be very different for each state. Staffing and F&B consultations, location accurate SOPs, on-site training for the franchisee owner, location-based customer acquisition, which will be taken care of by our marketing team, on-hand support during the pre-opening, integrations of other TQI brands to widen the revenue stream, and of course, a lot more. So in terms of flexibility, we're open to feasible negotiation on the requirements. For example, not every investor can have the capability of having 6,000 square foot available. We can even do it at a lower square foot area and pure veg and non-alcoholic non models available at lower interest rates. Although the one that we really want to push for is the alcoholic model because that's where we are seeing a lot better returns.